The 2024 track and field season is really starting to heat up. From the teenage prodigy Gout Gout, throwing down a crazy fast 100 meters, to Litsili Tabojo from Botswana, dropping absolute bombs every single time he hits the track, to Noah Lyles calling for a world record this season in the 200 meters, predicting around 19.10 seconds. And in the 200, you know, I have, you know, that idea of 1910. The action is already surfacing with huge potential during these early 2024 Olympic moments. And speaking of incredible action, we officially have a huge showdown in the men's 100 meter dash. And this race includes Christian Coleman and Fred Curley. Now, when it comes to sprinting royalty, these two are certainly some of the most powerful and talented sprinters in the world right now. If we go back to 2022, Curley won the World Track and Field Championships in the 100 with a time of 9.86, completing the American sweep with Marvin Bracey and Trayvon Bromel. This was one of the most dominant 100 meter campaigns in sprinting history, honestly, as Curley managed to break 9.80 seconds three separate times that season, and he showed up when it mattered the most to win the world finals. Now, Curley's exploits in the 100 meters have certainly been amazing, and when he gets to his top speeds, this man is just gone. However, historically speaking, Christian Coleman has more consistency and better overall performances throughout his career. Since 2017, when Coleman set the collegiate record at 9.82 seconds while attending the University of Tennessee, he has not slowed down whatsoever. That very season, he won the silver medal beating out Usain Bolt in the World Championships, and then just two years later in 2019, he made history in the World Championships. For this World Championship Finals, Coleman achieved one of the fastest times in history, winning the gold medal in 9.76 seconds, easily defeating the best in the world on this day. Following that performance in 2022, he again broke 9.90 seconds with the season's best time of 9.87, and then in 2023, he seemed to be back into the best fitness that he had ever reached. But when it came to the World Finals, he again fell ever so short of the podium, only finishing in fifth place with a time of 9.92 seconds, despite running a time of 9.88 in the semifinals just a few hours earlier. And that time of 9.88 would have tied him for silver with Let's See Le Tebojo. Coleman's 2023 World Championships were certainly not what he was looking for, but perhaps that's what brought him so much greatness just a few weeks down the line, as he had nothing but sprinting revenge on his mind. At the 2023 Diamond League meeting in Shaman, China, Coleman threw down a world-leading performance of 9.83, which actually tied him with the world leader, Noah Lyles, and that 9.83 performance was fast enough for a world title. This race also took down the previous world champion, Fred Curley, who ran a time of 9.96 seconds at this very competition. But this was really but a small win compared to the Diamond League Finals just two weeks later in Eugene, Oregon, where Christian Coleman really brought his A-game. Now for this race, Coleman was pinned up against the world champion Noah Lyles, but for this 100 meter dash, Coleman would put away any doubters with this performance, as he again won this race in 9.83, finishing but 0.02 seconds away from a closing Noah Lyles. These two sprinters are easily considered as Olympic medal threats for this 2024 season, but who will pull out the win in this year's Shaman Diamond League meeting? Well, let's just say that right now, both are making a pretty strong case to win this 100. Now for Fred Curley, he has already opened his season in the 100 meters, currently clocking the world's fastest time in 2024 at 10.03. Now for this race, I gotta think that Curley was not running all out. He ran it at a very small meet, there wasn't that much competition, and he looked very much in control, and he also looked ready to run faster. This performance certainly bodes well for Curley's chances moving into the later stages of this Olympic season. However, when we look at what Christian Coleman has already done this year, it is hard to say that he is not the slight favorite. In this year's World Indoor Championships, Coleman unleashed an absolutely beautiful race to win the 60-meter dash in this year's World Finals, winning in 6.41 seconds over Noah Lyles again in second place. This also was yet another revenge race in my opinion, as he rewrote the script for what happened just a few weeks earlier in the United States Championships as he lost to Lyles by just 0.01 seconds. This was a beautifully executed race when it mattered the most, and honestly, there is just no catching Coleman when he is running well in the 60. 
With this single performance, Coleman has now run 6.41 seconds, or faster, a total of five separate times, which is more than any other athlete to ever do it in the 60 meters. But what I found even more impressive about Coleman's indoor season is that with every single race, he showcased slow but steady improvements as the season continued. Meaning that right now, for this Olympic season, Coleman knows his body and he understands that improvements are certainly to follow. And with this in mind, let's take a super deep dive into this matchup and break down who has the best chances of winning for the first Diamond League race of 2024. Throughout their careers, Coleman and Curley have raced each other a total of five times in the 100 meters. And at the moment, Fred Curley currently has four wins, with Coleman only having one. Since 2022, Curley has almost always had the edge on Coleman. In fact, before 2023, Curley's average win was almost a full tenth of a second over Coleman. But given what happened at the end of last season, this certainly changes things as 2024 continues. If Coleman can get a classic bullet-like start which I fully expect him to, and again showcase some historic dry phase abilities, I really do believe that Coleman could open his season with a time under 9.90. But Curley has also proven his abilities to run fast during the early stages, running under 9.90 for his season opener in 2023, and also running under 10 seconds for his opener in 2022, even into a slight headwind. Ever since the 2019 season when Coleman won the World Championships, these two have been all over the top of the world lists. In fact, out of the top 10 fastest times in the world since this season, they collectively make up half of the fastest performances in the world. And at the very top, Coleman, Bromel, and Curley hold the fastest time at 9.76 seconds, a time that ties all of them for sixth fastest ever. At the moment, no official starting list has been released for this race, so it is possible that a few other key athletes would be set to run here. But for now, the clash of Coleman and Curley is looking incredible. I would be very surprised if either Coleman or Curley did not manage to break 10 seconds by a pretty significant margin, especially when you consider how lightning quick Coleman has been during this indoor season. However, I will also point out that there is the possibility that Curley is playing the slow game heading into Paris. And when we take a look back at the 2021 season, where he won the silver medal in the Olympic finals. It is just insane how much time he cut off in just one single season. For this 2021 Olympic campaign, Curley opened his season on March 20th at 10.15 seconds. Now, it is important to keep in mind that this was his first complete season where he was dedicating himself completely to the 100 meters, as he was mostly focused on the 400 before this year. But still, to go from 10.15 all the way down to 9.84 under legal conditions is just unbelievable. So perhaps for this race, Curley will be placing normal expectations for a decent race, not necessarily an all-time performance. This very much could be his strategy moving into this Diamond League race, considering that the Olympic Games are still five months away. But either way, this will be a huge clash in the men's 100, and with all of this history and so much excitement in mind, I want to pass this final question off to all of you. Who do you think will take this men's 100 meter dash in Shaman China? Do you have the 2019 world champion Christian Coleman or the 2022 world champion Fred Curley? Make sure to leave your thoughts down below and share your reasons why you have the athlete that you you have. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.